Okay, right here is a 1982 Bucyrus Series 71B Series 3. The 71B was first introduced by Bucyrus Series in 1954 as a gap filler between the smaller model 54B and the larger model 88B. Available from Bucyrus Series in either shovel, drag line, lifting crane, clam, or backhoe configurations, depending on what the customer preferred, the 71B was originally rated as a three cubic yard shovel and a three and a half cubic yard drag line. Later on in 1960, an improved Series 2 version of this machine was introduced, which featured an increase in shovel bucket capacity up to three and a half cubic yards. Then, in 1967, Bucyrus Series launched the Series 3 version of the 71B, which allowed this machine to swing a bucket up to four and a quarter cubic yard capacity in both shovel and backhoe configurations, and up to five cubic yard capacity in dragline configuration. And an optional five and a quarter cubic yard bucket was also offered for the front shovel attachment of this machine for coal loading purposes. The 71B incorporated many design features of the 54B and 88B. The most noticeable design feature that resembled the 88B was seen on this machine's front shovel attachment, which featured a twin rope balanced hoist and crowd system, just like on the 88B. This feature was designed to eliminate shock overload and excess power demands and to prevent speed increases at critical moments, overcrowding, and wasted operating time. From here, you can get a good view of the car body on the 71B. 36-inch crawler shoes were standard for the 71B Series 3. However, Bucyrus Series also offered optional wider 42-inch crawler shoes, depending on the type of ground conditions that this machine would be working on. And as you can see, the crawlers on the 71B Series 3 are chain-driven. And if you look right here, you can see where the chain runs around the rear sprocket right here. And this chain connects to the drive sprocket. And when this machine is engaged into the propel mode, the chains are what will rotate the crawlers, which in turn will travel the machine. The 71B incorporated an internal swing rack and hook roller design, just like on the 54B. Right here you can see where the drag rope runs out through the fair lead. And if you look right here, on the side of this machine superstructure, here you can see the original manufacturer's plate that says Bucyrus Siri, and it lists the machine's serial number and the model number. You can see where it says 71B. As a drag line, the 71B Series 3 could swing a boom ranging from 60 to 120 feet in length, depending on what the customer preferred. Let's go up on the 71B.
Okay. From here, you can get a good overview of the interior of the machinery house on the 71B. And right back here, you can see the big diesel engine that powers this machine. During this machine's production lifespan, Bucyrus Siri offered many diesel engine power plants to power the 71B, some of which included a Detroit 6110 rated at 250 horsepower, a Detroit 12V71 rated at 261 horsepower, a Caterpillar D343T, and a Caterpillar 3406T, both rated at 250 horsepower. This 71B is Cummins powered, and the engine that you are looking at right here is a model NT855C, inline six-cylinder diesel engine that produces 246 horsepower for this machine. Torque converter drive was standard for the 71B. The engine receives its fuel from a 200-gallon diesel fuel tank mounted below the diesel engine. An electric version of the 71B was also offered by Bucyrus Siri, which was equipped with a single 250 horsepower, three-phase AC squirrel cage type motor with torque converter drive. As you can see, this particular 71B is equipped with a raised operator's cab mounted separately from the machinery house. This particular design feature was adopted from the Ruston Bucyrus version of the 71B manufactured in England, who first started offering the 71B with a raised operator's cab in 1962. It wasn't until 1975 when Bucyrus Siri in America first started offering the 71B Series 3 with an externally mounted raised operator's cab such as what you see right here. And if you look right here on the side of this machine's house, here you can see the original decal that says BE Bucyrus Siri. And below you can see where it says 71B Series 3. From right here you can get a good overview of the inside of the operator's cab on the 71B Series 3. Let's climb aboard. Now let's talk about what some of these controls do. Okay. Off to the left side control panel, here you can see all of the gauges to monitor this entire machine when it's in operation. These two hand levers that you see back here, off to the left side, control the engine RPM and torque converter output shaft RPM. This feature allows the operator to have full control over the machine's engine and torque converter to match the power output for each job-specific requirements. And here you can see other hand levers to control other various functions on this machine. The 71B Series 3 is a full air control machine. Graduated full field valves control the main operating clutches for the swing, hoist, and drag functions, while fast action poppet valves control all auxiliary functions on this machine. All of the big hand levers that you see directly out in front of the operator seat control all of the digging functions of the dragline attachment in the front or if this machine were set up as a shovel. The two foot pedals that you see on the floor control the drum brakes. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a 71B.
Right here you can get a good view of one of the big crawlers on the 71B Series 3, which measures 18 feet in length. And from underneath here you can get a good view looking up at this machine superstructure. And on the back of this machine's counterweight, you can see where it says, Bucyrus Erie. And to help give you an idea of the size of a 71B, this machine measures 18 feet 9 inches tall from the ground to the top of the A-frame and 14 feet 10 inches wide. And the overall operating weight of a 71B Series 3 in dragline configuration, as you see right here, is 84 tons and 85 tons in clamshell configuration. In backhoe configuration, the 71B Series 3 weighs in at 100.4 tons and 105.2 tons in front shovel configuration. Bucyrus also offered two special electrically powered dragline crane versions of the 71B, which were specifically designed for slag recovery in steel mills, known as the models 72B and 73B. The last 71B left the Bucyrus Series factory in 1983. However, Rustam Bucyrus in England continued to offer the 71B until 1992 when the last unit was shipped. But there she is. A 1982 Bucyrus Erie 71B Series 3.